United United Residents of Commerce City Barbecue. And I wanted to first thank the sponsors, um, the Rotary Club of Commerce City, uh, the Denver Foundation, Community Enterprise uh, did an in-kind donation to loan us their grill and, and some tables and chairs. And the music makers for loaning us the sound system to be able to have the event and talk to you. The reason this, this group was put together, and it was put together by Renee and Deborah Bullock, um, was to, to help join efforts with the northern part of the city, the southern part of the city, to get folks uh, to realize it's one community and to start working towards one community and we wanted to start off by doing some history of Commerce City and You know where we came from type of stuff. That's why we wanted all of you here with your stories um, Dusty wants to do some some interviews one-on-one -on -one interviews so that uh, we can get a good sense of Commerce City from when it became a city. I know uh, we invited the charter members that, that signed the original charter, and I know I know of one that's here, my father, um, who was on the original charter, which was about 38 years ago, if I'm not correct, 37 years ago. We, we went from Commerce Town to Commerce City, but uh, there's a lot of history, and we're trying to gain some of that history back and, and remember um, back to when we got started and where we've become what we've become. Uh, I know that it was always an industrial community and, and I'm still fairly young so I don't have as much history, but I, I was born and raised here and I still remember a lot of the, uh, you know, the Nelson's Country Store and going as a kid and getting penny candy and, and before we had McDonald's, we had the, the Scotchman and uh, over there Scotty's and, and the A&W Root Beer Place. Uh, Jack and Jill's. I, I remember some of that stuff, but I know uh, there's a lot of folks here that remember a lot further back than that, and we want to hear from those folks. Uh, first, I'd like to thank all of the current city council members that were invited for showing up. And uh, <laughs> we also have Winnie here, who is Ivan Jurgensen. That's right. Yes. Winnie's here. And I have a few did you know facts about Commerce City and, and first I'd like to ask, does anybody know who the first mayor of Commerce City was? Al Crow. Al Crow. Al Crow. Al Crow. <laughs> who was the second? Who was the second? Ivan. Ivan. All right. Who was the third? Oh. Leroy, Fields. <laughs> Leroy Fields. Harold Kite. No, no, no. no it's not in here, is it? Oh. Let me look. I'm, I've got it here. Now show me. Al Williams. Al Williams. Al Williams. Eli Koff. How many know what mayor I was? I was the tenth mayor. I was the 10th mayor. And things do kind of go downhill after you hit 10, you know, you're on your way down. <laughs> but um, the center of Commerce City, does anybody know where? I'm talking about land, the size of the community. Yeah, Thelma, you've been in the meetings. We don't. Hey, I learned this before I went to the meeting. Because you were shocked. The center of Commerce City is 104th Avenue and Chambers. 104th Avenue and Chambers. The geographical center. 104th and Chambers. Derby! That's the heart. That's the heart. The center is 104th and Chambers. The heart is Derby. <laughs> See how I, I, I still got a little politician in me there, Wendy. <clears throat> Does anybody know there was a landing strip in DuPont? Not over here at the other one. <laughs> DuPont, DuPont, Colorado had a landing strip. Your house is on. We had two landing strips then, because I know the V Hills had one. <laughs> also across from the landing strip, the airport, was a racetrack. That's right. There was a racetrack in Commerce City. And 
There was actually two racetracks. You had Second Creek out on 96, but there was a racetrack a long time ago down here. <clears throat> Does anybody know that they buried a time capsule at the original city hall when the charter was written 38 years ago? They have not dug it up yet, and they sold the land to the school district. So today we have some shovels and we have some, we have some, some stuff. I have it, I have it on, on good faith here. Uh, Thelma's going to not participate so she can bail us all out of jail. <laughs> but there is a time capsule buried over at City Hall. Nobody seems to know where it is. Um, before it, The best guess is it was by the flagpole when the flag, flagpole was in the grass out front. Um, there is a broken stone in the sidewalk, which is where I'm assuming it's right there. Uh, my dad remembers being there when they buried it, um, but it's been so long ago we need to get a metal detector and find it, but we have to get the school district to okay the thing to be dug up, and I think it's an important piece of Commerce City's history, and before we built the new city hall and moved and sold this to the school district, I was pretty adamant that we, we find that time capsule and we open it up, see what's in it, add the new stuff from our era now, and let the public see what was buried 38 years ago uh, depicting Commerce City. And, and that still hasn't been done, but I think it should be done. And I think it should be put at the new city hall with, with the new stuff in it. So, yes? Who owned the drugstore that was on Highway to the way back in the I don't know. <laughs> Let me see what else I have here. I get so caught up on the, the time capsule and I'm ready to go. We could dig it up today, but everybody wants to keep me from doing that. But we'll get the okay, I'm sure, to be able to do that if it's in conjunction with the city. And the school district, huh? Who wants you not to do it? Today? No, today I don't know as though no. If there's anybody out there that doesn't want us to do it. I think it's just getting the approvals to do it, because somebody would probably get upset, especially if it was me. Uh, I'm I'm not as well liked as I used to be, and it probably probably wouldn't go over good if I was out there with a pick and shovel. <laughs> um, let's see what else. The city logos, the, the first city logo was a derby hat. Then it went to the three C's and a star to the current tree. We got some that like the derby hat, some that don't like the tree. Um, well, we need to dig up the time capsule and see maybe the first one was better. I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll blame that on past city council. That's what, it's kind of like the whole George Bush thing. If anything goes wrong, just blame it on him. Blame it on the past city council. <laughs> I would like to introduce Renee Bullock to, to say a few words, and we would love to hear any stories that you have of uh, when you first came to Commerce City and to get some of this history. Uh, I know Dusty's here documenting it, and that's the important part. I've been trying try to be a little bit humorous. Uh, hopefully nobody takes that the wrong way. But uh, I, I would like to hear from hear from the folks that are here, the citizens, the longtime residents. And, and one of the things we want to find out is who is the longest Commerce City resident still alive in Commerce City? And uh, I know there's several of you here that might have an idea. Winnie! But um, uh, I know there's, there's some... There's some uh, paperwork up here we'd like you to fill one out so we know when you came to Commerce City um, we'd like to we'd like to start narrowing some of that down so we have a good history and and I want to acknowledge Gene Leffel with the Cars Club for coming over and cooking uh, the hamburgers Gene good job over there so after you're done eating uh, we would love for you to participate, to uh, do the interviews with Dusty so that we can get some documentation on, on the history of Commerce City. And we'd love to, love to hear from you. Just please enjoy your hamburgers. 
Um, glad you came out. I know there was a 